Was the plan for Bailey to go? How um, long? I mean, were you expecting huh. him to be able to throw that many pitches? Well, it's just he's, it, it all depends. You know, he's he's done that before, and, and that was the obviously the, the probably the, the the top end of where we would go with him from a pitch count standpoint. But he was just so effective that it's hard to hard to change. You know, when he's when he's when he's rolling like that. Um, for tomorrow, going up against St. Mary's, uh, what, what what's kind of your game plan for tomorrow? Well, really, you know, it'll be Morgan again. He's he's pitched great on that second day, and I, I really don't even know who their starter yet is. I think it's TBA, so I think it'll be a left-hander. But we'll just keep doing what we're doing. There's no real special game times at this time of the year. We just do what you do. So how uh, how excited are you about the about the Because it was an all-around a really good game. Very excited, I and mean, it's it's. Uh, it's, we've been left on the field a few times this year, um, and so it's, it's always good to be in that winner's back in the, in the regional format, so really excited How for How much that. of an advantage is it for you guys that Bailey was able to give you that complete game, especially with St. Mary's having to go to extra innings and use a couple different guys? Well, I think it, it, it is huge. Um, you know, uh, I think it'll be more of what, you know, what Morgan what Morgan does and what their their starter do, does because they've got a they'll get a quality guy out there. So, but I think that it, that is huge. They had to go extra innings. They had to they had to burn Gonsolin, but um, I'm sure those guys will bounce back too at this time of year. Uh, Jeffrey Bolin uh, with a couple of doubles, you know, finding the gaps. Uh, he earns the WCC Player of the Year, and you know some people might not have expected that, you know, coming into the year or even knew the name coming into the year necessarily. Um, but he's just been so consistent for you. Uh, what has he kind of meant to this team in the middle of that lineup for you? Well, it's, he's just been. I mean, his power numbers are off the chart. I think he's. I mean, overall, I think he's got like 24 doubles and seven or eight home runs and five or six triples, and it's, it's been huge because he's 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 come up and he's any, he's he's hitting a two hole and he's hitting a five hole and and he's got as, uh, as many big hits as anybody on our team. And for you guys to take advantage in that, uh, I believe, third or fourth inning when they had the ball lost in the lights and then they have a slide and grab that comes out of the glove, uh, what does that kind of say about your team that you can take advantage of those things, be you know, be opportunistic in those situations? I think that's what you know good teams do. They, they, they find ways to win, and when they have opportunities, they, they capitalize. And um, this team is kind of an older team, and, and, and uh, we've got great leadership. And so we were able to, uh, to capitalize on a mistake here or there and get some timely hits. And since I won't see you the rest of the weekend, I if you guys weren't to, were not to win the, the tournament and the automatic bid, why do you think that your team should be in the NCAA tournament? Well, if you, if you look at the RPI, you look at the fact that we had the second most wins on the road than any team in the country, and I think the, the, in, the, in the past the committee has rewarded teams that are willing to go on the road and play good people and, and obviously win, and, and uh, we've certainly done that.